Human trafficking is a serious problem, not only in Atlanta, but statewide as well. And today, Georgia's first lady announced new efforts to combat the crime in our state and to attempt to help victims. Right now, this very minute, there are fathers and mothers who have loved ones caught up in this evil industry. There are women and men out there who need those in public life to stand up and say something because they do not have a voice. We will give them a voice. The Georgians for Refuge Action Compassion and Education Commission will bring together advocates and experts to help solve this problem in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Since Patriots owner Robert Kraft was implicated in a sexting at a spa in Florida, illicit massage and spa businesses specifically have been in the headlines for ties to sex trafficking, but those are not the only places where this happens. NBC Nightly News recently profiled a woman recovered from a sex trafficking operation who says she hopes sharing her story will show others they're not alone. She was homeless when she says she met a couple who used online ads to sell her for sex when she was only 17. The most hardest part about it is being man manipulated and being hopeless, like having nowhere to turn to, nowhere to go. It's happening at our local motels and high-end hotels here in Atlanta. Um, it's happening a lot online, and kids are solicited online and then brought to someone's home or hotel room. The multi-billion dollar industry has drawn increased attention from the Federal Bureau of Investigation which is cracking down through sting operations in Georgia and across America. Cecilia Roberts says her life changed when she was arrested by an undercover cop. 